Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Long Oak Farms. Your host, well, not the most, Mr. Blue, aka uh, aka Tommy Miller. Yeah, there we go. Almost got tongue twisted. The bit the bit seven classes. Anyway, folks, how y'all doing today? Y'all doing alright? Happy Saturday to y'all. It is September the 22nd, 2018, but I'm recording this September the 19th, 2018. Wouldn't it be something I've done recording it in the future and it's coming back and posting them? Back to the Future, that's my favorite show, folks. Well, anyway, we are doing a mission for Mariah King, and we are almost done. And this is the field behind the pig farm. And a beautiful pond right there. Um, I think this will put her a little over halfway of being in the, uh, the good social vibe with her. Uh, so she'll knock that price down. Uh, there is a that green field right there. I believe is hers also. And so far it's only two fields I can find. If y'all do know play this map and you know where Mariah King has another feel at put it down below in the comments folks I'm gonna have to break my GPS here because it's gonna turn me into pawn if I don't we're just so close and we got a lot of fields to harbor folks yeah I thought we only had the potato field left well that's our fields that's the only field we got left but uh let me get this going here well I can't do it right now but as soon as we get done this mission I'll show y'all all the fields are just about orange all the way across the map one yaller and uh, of course our fields are plowed and somewhat fertilized I think I have to go through and look but other than that folks we're doing pretty good on this map um I've been doing missions left and right where I can. Like I said, sometimes you just sit here, you're like, oh my God, you know, like right now, I done been doing this for a while. And I don't want a mission right now. But I need to. I don't want to. But it might help. But, uh, hmm. But, um, I say that a lot, don't I? Come on, Mariah King. Ain't this enough? But, uh, what is this? This wheat? Look like wheat. Watch this. It's going to make me turn around. Dang it. Oh, well. Super drive. Super drive. I find out a way to keep my pipe from going out every time I hit because the LB and down on the D pad puts your pipe out. But as you see there on the bottom right, I'm switching back and forth. Just keep it on the header. That way you, you can do the GPS and it won't bring your auger out and have to put it back in. When you get to the end, just raise your header up. Turn around faster. This is a nice combine, but I played the new Holland combine so much, you know, on uh, the uh, Xbox and regular PCs before I found out what mods was, and just got burnt out on this combine. I'd love to have a deer any day besides this. Man, ain't nothing wrong with them. But I love deer. Get, oh, let's clean those up just a little bit. I oh, got two of them. Right, See, so you can just raise your header up like that, and then you can set your GPS. Why well, worry about the pipe? And plus, you can spin around faster. And if y'all heard that, that was my phone vibrating instead of ding dong. I actually put it on vibrate before I started recording. I'm happy for myself. I'll be happy with Mariah 
decides to go ahead and, you know, pay us and let her finish the rest of it. It's a good thing I did put it on vibrate. There we go. Wow, folks. 25,862. Time bonus 14,021. We got to enjoy those time bonuses because when we put seasons in, we won't have them. We'll just have the reward. But yeah, that's uh, at 30, 39,000. Wow. Add that to what we got. We come up with $228,025. That's what I'm talking about. See, we, we can do another mission. We, we can get her down a lot more. We can do the slurry, which we probably need to do. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's, all we got to do is harvest our potatoes. Um, and plus, doing missions gives you a chance to drive other tractors. Uh, it, it, it's kind of like a, a pre-test or demo test in somebody else's field too. So not only you get to drive the tractor, but you get to see what the field's like. Field, not feel. Fields feel like. Yeah, that could be a tongue twister. Um, yeah, this tractor don't want to go fast when it's turning. Tight turns, anyway. I hope it's going to be right. Got to get going here. Get the pooping. I know, folks, I'm not going to take that GPS. I'm just trying to get even here, straight with the feel. I'm going to auto whip. And then I'm going to hit new. And bam. Instead of, you can use these to find adjust, but I see a lot of YouTubers fighting with these, try to get it straight and stuff, where all you have to do is just hit new. Now reset it. All right, this is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to jump cut. Y'all like that? Or would you want some music? I think we'll do a jump cut because I want to kind of keep this down to a minimum low because I know y'all got other videos to watch and probably need to catch up on other YouTubers so I'm trying not to make an hour video today I know I said try so I'm gonna stop rambling and uh poop this field there's gonna be a lot of poop Oof. anyway I'll be right back folks in a second all right folks um uh, take a few minutes right here you can see how that heel drops off there goes down uh, for this field here make it when you go from the, the shop there down to here or should I say pigs do a round on this end like I did it will save you a lot of time trying to climb this hill I mean it was terrible so I just made a u-turn and done my ends and it's a whole lot better so uh but anyway we are almost got the pie field earphones making my beard itch these earphones here they uh, come from the old school that they uh partially tore down they tore down one long building of it i need to do a drone flyover of that too and show some of the Y'all that live up north, that's from down here. But anyway, uh, they let the fire department have the lockers out of it. And, uh, and one of those lockers, there's several cases of headphones. So I want one case of them. There's like six of them in a case. Uh, look brand new. Just, you know, there's old, but they was still new. But, uh, so I've been using them for headphones just off the PC part uh, when I play Xbox I still gotta use my uh, wireless headset for everything to work right but anyway story is you know it's the got that slick stuff around them like leather but I think it's plastic or vinyl but uh yeah they get hot sometimes. 
well they don't get hot just the my my heat from my head I guess whatever against the all that hair and all right anyway let's see seven eight nine almost ten thousand all right what you got for us next oh 70 minutes I can't do that I want to I probably will but we got to get busy with her sugar uh, sugar potatoes yeah or sugar potatoes uh, let's see let me can I run over I need my run anyway that's right grass is getting where it's almost ready to mow again but we gotta put seasons in folks so we get potatoes done we can put seasons in but after I get done with potato field I want to do quite a bit of missions to get some money built up all right here's our potato harvester been sitting here for a little bit and fired up all right awesome sauce awesome just like the, the sugar beet one but just different color <sighs> I know some of y'all gonna roast me but look it, it's gonna be gone anyway when we put seasons in they'll put it back to beginning growth state or actually harvest state and then it starts growing let's see let's go ahead and unfold this thing make sure we don't hit a tree yo. I know this is kind of cheaty but it'll be alright folks alright I, I did I thought I did uh, there it goes I guess it didn't want to recognize we are getting potatoes now this is probably going to go for pig food unless we get like a really really happy demand off of it and folks I've been thinking about making a, a road over here just maybe put down some gravel let the guys put down some gravel down through there and this probably won't take long at all to do and I won't be in this machine all the time so don't just think I'm going to drive it all the time um, I'm going to get the ends done, try to square up a little bit, and we'll probably going to go check on something else. I don't know if I posted it in the last video or not. I don't think I did. Wow. Auto save. You know, I've done two missions on that field, and I didn't get auto save one. And I get to do my own fields, it's like every five minutes. But then again, you know, like the, uh, one guy was saying, it might not be auto save. It could be this mod right here making it do it. We'll never know. Only way you really know is just take every single mod out of your folder. Uh, yeah, there we go. It raised, it raised up. Yeah, okay. Pull up a little bit. Then we'll back up. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, reverse tones can really go on your nerves sometimes. Lower this bad boy back down. Uh, sheep has been born. All right. You know, it don't look like it harvests those right there, or the way the lines are made. Looks kind of funny. But anyway, GPS, of course. Folks, GPS is the way to go. And Chad Smith, shout out to you, cuz, if you're watching right now, GPS is the best way to go. Go ahead and get that set. And... Yeah, I forgot. You have to set this before you latch on. Because if not, it's going to be wanting to turn. 
And don't be going down through the field and doing it, because it will do a Yui quickly. Alright, we are doing 24 mile an hour doing potatoes. How unrealistic is that? I know y'all going to roast me, but I'm going to go ahead and let it do it at that speed. Just because. Just because we're on rugger gaming right now. No seasons, nothing. Um, when we start seasons, it's going to be more realistic. See, I got... I was going to show that to y'all, but I, I'm good on this end. Whoa. See, uh, yeah, he turned around too fast. He, I can't use this, so. Turn that off. Why is our header up? I'm going to have to turn around and get backed up again. But yeah, our grass getting pretty green. Lower our header down. Get our speed going. I want to have to go get our truck. So I want to slow this baby down a little. Um, about 16. That should do it. Our worker. Maybe that'll work. Okay. Ah. Yes, folks, the Lily Juno is inside the shed. I feel like I'm too high. Yeah, it was too high. Well, never mind. Okay, that's why Lily Juno, it, the, the, the cleaner there, is inside. If you have anything... Now, I had it way back over here in the corner, just like this, sitting. And it would not spawn a wool pellet. It would not spawn, folks. I went through about 20 hours not noticing it. And it just kept on saying no room for pellet. So I moved that in the shed. And wha bam And there it goes. But, uh... Where's my wool? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. My bad. Right, let's go out this way. Close that back. Don't want no rabbits or deer coming in from the back way. I put all the wool in here. That way, it, it, look, when you put them in here, they're not recognized. They're off the map. They won't cause no clutter on the game or anything like that. So that's why these are done. Got 12,000 liters, which is six uh, pallets, 2,000 each. We got 104 spaces available. So we get this thing filled up and then do a great demand. Holy cow, you talking about a brand new combine. Um, but this this is another thing I got. Uh, yep, some of y'all going to be hating. Did I put this in the last episode I, I know I was saying I was going to mow my yard but I can't remember let's see if I can get out here without wrecking it now only thing I, I thought this going to actually collect the grass but it won't unless there's a, a different toggle or something uh, change the dirt amount change Course control speed, activate course control. Why is that there? It should be right there. Change outside course. Oh, okay. Uh, honk horn. But there's nothing to anywhere that says I can fill the bag. You think it, they go to all this consideration, you know, putting the the thing on the side and the bag deal on the back for a bagger, that they would actually let it fill up. 
I, I thought this was one, but see, you barely can see it on the ground there. But I thought this is the one that Squad used, and he had one that was filling the bagger. And uh, apparently this and don't, so I don't know if somebody modded it for him or what, but yeah. It, it, it's pretty neat, because I like to use GPS on it. But turning is just a little bit tricky because it can get very fast on the turns. And sometimes, depending on where you're at, it can get very uh, sketchy about in the middle. If you barely bump it, it'll turn real fast. So that's why I like to just GPS it. But uh, that's that go ahead and put it back in the garage. I don't want nobody still in there inside. I can't see. Do it this way. First person view, folks. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm running over my trash. I'm stuck. Oh, right, there we go. Okay, I, I think that's good right there. What's this? What's this? Mr. Blue, you're holding out on us. Folks, uh, what is this anyway? I can't remember which one it was. Let's go over to the trucks real quick just to show y'all. Um, this is on Mod Hub. It's this one right here, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it was this one. Um, I also are some of the other ones I got here. Uh, Wood Metal Farms has a, another one out that's like this one right here, the 3500, but it's a 4500. And you can change the back beds to pretty much anything you want. Uh, it says bed design. I, I don't see it here. Oh, uh, wow. So many things to go through. Let's see what this fender, steps, fender and steps. Yeah, this is like the other one. Chevy bumper, gold armor, iron cross, light bar, stuff like that. You can put a salter on the back of it. And it does have a... Uh, bumper and plow yeah but that's not the one I was and I need to put this in because it's 84 Chevy K10 John Deere version and we have a, a 79 or 78 Ford F, uh, F350 and we got this in here but it's not the one that I got right here uh, we're very close to it though and we got all these others but yeah that's uh we we got well i i got this truck so it matches uh, this is chevy the gm but i love the tires on it i went with blue um yeah got another motor folks should we try it? It's a John Deere 2032R. Uh, it comes with three mooring decks. One's just for grass. Uh, the front one up there under the blade is a T for tether and W for windrow. Now this in here, as far as I can tell, all of them windrows. It shoots it out the side. So, well, I'm going to use this for it. It'll be in the next episode, probably. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but the, the W deck here, the windrow, that's just grass, and it windrows it. 
the Udden with the T at Tatters and Winrose. So, uh, reason why I got them on here, we need grass for the cows, boom. We need hay for the cows, boom. But I got the weight on the back because the bucket's a, a different size. It didn't have a bucket for it. And uh, so, yeah, so I got that in the trailer and stuff. Uh, probably be using it in seasons. Um, like I said, I want to focus on the potatoes and I was going to come for the truck. And I don't know if I have a route set up to the pigs. I hope I do. And also, also, this is the other thing I want to point out. Um, Y'all familiar with Blake Farms? Um, really? I bet you I didn't put it in this map. And anyway, I took the old... Yeah, I didn't put it in. Look, it should have took it. Anyway, the fuel tank off of Blake Farms. Maybe it's not recognizing it because it's out of fuel. I, that's a possibility. So I'm going to put some fuel in it. Um, I moved the, the garbage that was here, you know, tank thing and something else was here. I moved it out. You can actually back the trailer back in here to fill it. And I zoomed the trigger out. I mean, it should reach way out here. Now, in real, real life, you know, it is possible a person could have a long enough hose for that. But uh, I, I think it's just because it's out of fuel. But okay, I'm going to see if I have uh farm farm to long wolf area farm to sheep oh, i don't have one for the pig pig farm pig farm to farm all right so i, I didn't make one going to there so okay we'll have to drive it ourselves in um, awesome. Well, I guess I might well just go ahead and make it, huh? All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Go to this. No course is loaded. You want this one right here, folks. This one is work position. Seeds and fertilize, and these threes are combines. So we want that. Start course recording. You can close this out. And that way he'll let you zoom out. And now I gotta remember which way is to the pigs. Okay. Go straight out and then up. Gotcha. And I don't want this going very fast, so I'm gonna leave it about 24. Maybe 26. And folks, I'm on do a jump cut here and I'll meet you at the pigs and uh, see you in a second. Alright folks, we have reached the pig farm. And we're fixing to come to the end on this course here. I usually bring them to about right here and stop. Just, you know, it's your preference. Alright, you want to hit stop and then you want this little symbol right there. I'm going to pop that up. So I'm going to put farm to pig farm. You can put anything you want to help you remember the course, but I, I, I do it that way. And then you just hit enter. Bam. It's done. Uh, you can go to this right here. It's going to be down here at the bottom. Say farm to pig farm. So you go over all these little folders on this right side here. 
Uh, this is delete. You click it, it will delete it. See, delete course folder right there down below that pops up right here. You don't want to do that. So, let's highlight it. Let's see. All right there, just highlight this folder right here. Farm to pig farm, click it. And this, your folder's here. I want to put this in the farm folder. Okay, now click over here on, on farm. You're going to see farm to pig farm. Farm to sheep. Farm to long wolf area. See, it's everything leaving the farm shop going to somewhere. That's how I do it. It's a little bit easier doing it that way to remember. Um, want to X out of that. Close. And then I'm going to pull Yui. And I should do offload of, you know, like, say, field 29 here. Field 29 offload to farm shop. But, well, field, this field here, uh, this field, and, and even these, I can use that same course I've done, you know, pig farm to farm shop or farm. Where is our... Alright, he's down over there coming up. And I bet you it's going to be on the wrong side. And folks, I really don't know how long I've been recording for because all the... I didn't... Um, how can I put it? I just recorded straight through. Oh, no, I ran over some. Okay. Shut the truck off. We're going to go back here and catch him. I might need to speed him up some. It's more realistic this way, but... Seven? Okay. I think I wouldn't would do it like 30 something mile an hour. See, I got it. Alright, that's. Well, how fast is this thing going? Road gear is 62 mile an hour. Alright, he's. Gonna, I'm gonna go over here because he's got 143,000. 795 liters, folks. There's going to be a lot of potatoes. And this thing here only holds 47,000. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I saw the numbers quit, but I didn't pay attention to them still coming out. Down to 96,000, so... Which this thing holds like two million, so there's no biggie there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and Oh I missed some, I missed some, I missed some. Alright, I wanna hire a worker back and who we got this time? J Metal 797. We had Rude Man right go. Uh folks check out both of them, Rude Man and J Metal down below in the descriptions I don't know if Rude Man's down there I have to check and see but uh let's see here we gotta get this going so now all you do is open up your thing go to pig farm pig farm to farm click it drive course stop at the last Oh, you're going to go out in that field. Okay, so it does have some flaws to it. You really need to be straight on the road when you do it. And that way you don't have to worry about the turning and stuff. But uh, he'll drive over to the farm while you go do something else. Um, Got the baler there. Got the wagon here. Auger wagon. 
tether I need to put up. Um, we got the fertilizer and I got the stump grinder. Speaking of stumps, reason why it's up here. And we got the, I think, what is that, AR? Uh, went by too fast. Ah, yeah, it's AR, 8370. We, we're going to try to get a 9R. I don't know if it's going to be tracks or not. But right in here, we had some stumps from those trees we cut down. And I forgot to cut them. So they are gone now. So we could actually bring this field, uh, you know, cut through the, this and make it a little bit bigger down the side of the barn there. But, yeah. Um, I guess that's about it, folks. I, I want to do that one that plow mission on that one field and I also want to do the harvest on this field and I hate it when it does that but anyway um, I, I, I'm thinking I, I haven't showed this yet look at all the fields that's ready for harvest folks um, all of ours are done uh, there's a grass field there of course you know uh, I plow this grass field, so it's all bare field here now. Uh, all this is going to go in grass along with this, and I think this is ours too. We can mow. So this right here will be enough grass to take care of the sheeps forever. But we also got two grass fields right here. So, and plus we got this in here. Um, the sheep's not going to need that much. So this here might be split half or quarterly, like 22 and 23 to split it right down through here. We'll go for sheeps and this big long side over here will go to our sellage bunker up here at the BGA so we make some money. But, um, I've done this field before. I think I've done this field, this field, of course, this one, and this one. And I've done a couple of these over here. So I'm going to continue doing them, some more of them here and there. So I got, let's see, it's on fast. All, when we'll come back, all this will be changed. It'll be seasons. Um, what was I looking for? right here missions completed I done two on this uh, login time and a total of 38 so far and 54 trees cut down 364 bales made and y'all can just pause it and look at rest of this eggs and backpack is 44 um, no cows no pigs 156 sheep might even buy a few more uh, they're going to need a grass bale. So, uh, I'm going to try to get this filled up. That power food and protein come from those factories. So, I need to get some canola down there, which I don't think we got any. We got barley, corn, sugar beets, and fixing to have potatoes. So, folks, I'm probably going to end it here. Um, I want to finish the potatoes off screen and um, I guess that's about it and you see I didn't start the trip you can see right over there but where I've been testing out that other mower and I got some grass or, or hay there I need to pick up and we'll throw it over here in the cow pasture But I really need to make a offload course from the pig farm to around here, which actually be on that side. I need to cut a couple of trees down over uh, so we make a road. And while I'm unloading this, I'll show y'all. Uh, make it, make it, make it, make it. Ooh, that was close.
But I'm just going to put them in here because this holds more. And I don't know if silos actually holds it or not. But anyway, I was going to widen this out like this. Come down through here and then go straight. Cut that tree. That tree. Maybe a couple of these over here. But I want to put in a road here. And it cuts back right here. And that way we can go on that side of the silage bunker. And uh, it'd be mostly like partner headers and stuff that won't fit. Any kind of long trailer. I'll show you. I, I can go through here like this. But go right through here. Oh, don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the silage bunker. But it be mainly coming in the other way. And I want it wide enough where beside the silage bunkers there we can park trailers and stuff. But it work out, folks. It, it just takes a little time. Um, I don't want to say right now because I'm not for sure, but folks, November is coming up fast. And I think Blake Farms may be coming to an end. And we'll just focus mainly on this. Every day of the week be an episode of Long Oak. Because I, I, I love this map. So far, there ain't been no situation with it. We can mow grass anywhere we want to go to. Uh, Blake Farms, it's strictly just like two or three fields. You can't mow the ditches. ditches. Um, let me show you something. Uh, figure out how to the fastest way to get there. Probably right here. Let's visit this, and then I will we'll go because it's almost 50, 54 minutes. And like I said, I want to make it like thirty minutes. I think I got that much I can trim out. Um, yeah, this right here. See, all this is mowable. We can come in here, just mow it, and get grass. Even like right here, you know, there's some tall weeds like these right here that won't mow, but all this right here will. And I got some more cleaning to do up here, but I got it fixed where we can bring a little tractor down through here, mow it, and we'll have like a pickup wagon or something behind us picking up the grass. That way we can make our fences and stuff look good, you know, actually be like real life but i got these things right here i'm gonna go in ge and finish taking them out because as you remember that fence didn't go all the way down it stopped up here and then jump over and show y'all there should be a post right here i might done flew by it. i probably done flew back because that fields wasn't that long but anyway i'm gonna take like all this junk right here out and then we can come through here with mowers, pick up wagons. Hey, well, maybe on this side we can do some missions for mowing missions or something. Because this field up here by 15 is mowable. Uh, there's a lot of places like down through here. All that's mowable. Uh, I don't know about this area right in here. But I do know this is mowable. Um, right in here here and here so we'll have plenty of grass but folks i guess that's going to be it um got any questions or anything you want to say make sure you put them down below in the comments uh been doing a pretty good job i'm getting anywhere from 12 to 26 you know just an average of comments some videos are more than others um so yeah oh, folks look at there 161 plus the 47 we just done I, I just don't know what to say i'm glad it's going seven mile an hour uh, it looks like it's doing okay around the curves and stuff so i'm gonna let this be and who who's in it uh, I gotta hop out to see. Oh yeah, J Metal. J Metal, you're doing a fine job, sir. That's a nice machine there too. 
we might own one one day. But folks, I seriously got to get off here. So, uh, leave a like. Oh, I forgot. I got to stop it first. Uh, leave a like. Share me with your friends. Whatever y'all want to do, just do it. Uh, just no bad comments. I have had one or two. Uh, it's not the same person every time. I had one or two comments I had to delete. Um, you know, I don't mind going to other channels and checking them out, check y'all out and stuff and subscribing, but if you leave me five comments begging to subscribe to your channel and you ain't even commented on mine, I, I'm, I'm just going to delete it, folks. No if ands, buts about it. I don't want to be rude. You know, I'm, I'm a teddy bear when it comes to loving y'all and stuff, but begging to subscribe to your channel and you haven't even commented on mine except for begging you know you know who you are i ain't gonna say your name but it's hey check out my channel come sub to me sub to sub sub me and i'll sub you i don't do that sorry this, I just want to put that out there. I'm not grappling or anything, but I just want to put that out there. Um, but folks, check out my channel. If you like it, it's fine. If you don't, that's fine. If you want me to go check out your channel, you know, say, hey, man. Uh, I don't know. I'm just like, man, I, I like your channel or I don't like your channel or yeah, you know, either or tell me if you don't like it tell me if you do like it uh, but if you want me to sub to your channel don't beg one time's enough I, I get your comments 90% uh, out of time if you just comment on my channel or my video and saying you like it or even if you say you don't like it you know, I'm going to go check out your channel, regardless. I don't want to um, drive across your crops. I can't drive across the crops because i got crop destruction. So I'm just going to check them, catch them down here. But anyway, I appreciate each and every one of y'all's comments, even if they are bad. That means you took a little bit of time out to say something to me. But anyway, folks, I do love each and every one of you. Even my haters, I love y'all too. And uh, y'all keep rocking on. Do what y'all do best. And uh, I'm going to try to watch all y'all videos as I can. I am getting a little behind. Um, a few things I can't talk about is coming up. So I might not be able to make a video every day. Um, and I may not be able to watch y'all's every day. But. Just hang in there. I will get called up. Um, I just going to pretty much do it for this episode. Uh, I just reached 101 minutes. So. Or an hour and one minute, I should say. It'll be 61 minutes. But anyway, I'm going to get off here. Um, I hope y'all like this video. Uh, if you do, like it. Hit that like button. If you don't, hit the dislike. Uh, share me with your friends. Uh, what else is it? Subscribe if you're new. And make sure you hit that bell, folks. Make sure you hit that bell if you're subscribed or not. And also, if you are subscribed and you see an it, just check, make sure you're subscribed. If you've been up with me for a year or so or a couple of months or whatever, just check. YouTube does some silly things. I might sell a load of these. There are money up there. I'm wanting to buy a new tractor just to start the season off with. Just in case y'all wondering what's up my sleeve. But anyway, 
I gotta go, folks. I done said all my stuff, rambling so much and stuff. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, later. <laughs>